Welcome to Eat, Play, Heal. And today we have a very interesting guest and I'm so ecstatic to have him with us. Before we start, I'm going to tell you about a little bit of something that I've discovered. You know, sometimes some countries seem to be ahead of others when it comes to keeping in tip-top shape. We all know when it's important to exercise, make time to relax and support our mental health. But what about their way of cooking and eating? Now today, we'll be meeting a highly recognized chef, awarded as the Master Chef of France in 2015, which is one of the highest honors the country can award upon its citizens. Can you believe that? And by a country with one of the most sophisticated cuisines in the world. Let's all welcome Chef Cyril Stolman. Hi, Chef. Hello, 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 hello. Good morning to everyone. I'm so, so happy that you're here. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and, I, I, and I hope um, to see your refrigerator and I want to know what's in your refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> I am so amazed with uh, your backdrop right there, which is a real kitchen. Well, Could you tell me, what is your favorite thing there that you cannot live without behind you? Um, well, I, I'm just covering now, so I'm going to move it a little bit this way. This is where I cook everything. That's very important. Okay, we have like a six burner here, different size, small, big, medium. So it mm -hmm. depends on what you want to cook and depends on what the pan, the size of the pan that you want to use. And then um, I have three ovens there. So one uh, convection oven, uh, medium, a little bit smaller one that's more for the pizza or bread and things like that. And then another one that's more for like uh, reheating or cooking slowly, like some vegetable gratin, or even um, making your your plate warm when you do a, a plating. So yeah, I'm 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 flip, I'm, wow. flip. Yeah, I'm very I'm very lucky. Uh, it's a beauty, it's a very nice uh, brand. It's working very well, and then and then that's coming from here. I mean, you can find it here in the Philippines. What kind of oven do you call it? It's not a normal oven. No, 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 it's a very, it's a normal oven, but it's a convection oven. And okay. then uh, we have a couple of options of setting to cook. Mm -hmm. So it depends on what you want to do. If you want direct uh, um, cooking on, on the top or uh, on the bottom, it depends. And then the, what I will say is like the temperature is quite uh, exact, you know what I mean? So when you put at 180 degrees, it's really at 180 degrees. And then it's circulating here. So that's, that's help to, to cook. Uh, baking and then also as well roasting and things like that. So it's this not is, a good one. This is amazing. But it's, <laughs> uh, it's, it's nice. It's something that you should have, that everybody should have in their, in their kitchen. I'm curious, Chef. Um, how, many, how many dishes can you cook at one time? <laughs> uh, well, I have only two hands, huh? so <laughs> <laughs> I cannot do so, so much. But uh, of course, here in this one, since you have six burners, you can really plan your menu properly, meaning that um, you can start your 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 main course and then do it your your appetizer if you want, or do the dessert and then cook and bake your dessert during the time that you are that you are roasting or, or, or frying or pan frying. Yeah, so something like that. so so which is good. So it's better to have only one thing. Um, one time three dish. Yes. Uh, and, uh, yeah, yeah. It depends. Three dish during uh, during the lockdown. I, I was doing like. Uh, Three kind of dish, you know, one one braised, one uh, roasted, and then so of course you have to you have to be a little bit, uh, yeah, um, I would say uh, ambidextrous, <laughs> multitasking, you know, full blown multitasker. I think, um, yeah, I gotta learn that as well, and yeah, I do I love food. Organized. I must say, yeah. I realized I also discovered on Google. <laughs> we just call a lot of things in Google. Of course, like Google do. So, um, well, in France, since France is in the top 10 healthiest countries in the world, I've been wondering what are on their plates. So, what's the French secret to healthy cooking and eating? Okay. Let's start off with cooking. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so, um, okay. so let's start by, by the country of themselves. Okay, the country of themselves, France, um, we have. We, we are very lucky in France because we have so much diversity uh, in terms of option of of, uh, of, of uh, ingredient um, because of the province, different region. Mm -hmm. But also as well, we are playing so much with the season. 
and something that we don't have it here. I mean, here we have season of the rain, the rainy season, and then the summer season. So basically, that's it. But in France, we really are playing with the four seasons. And then, and then this is very important when you create uh, your menu and then what you are eating mm -hmm. every day. You are not going to eat strawberry during December in France. Okay. I mean, you, you can find, of course, mm -hmm. you can find because there's some market we need and then some, but when you look at the restaurant, like the pure restaurant, three star Michelin, two star, one star Michelin, they will never use vegetable or ingredient that not in, in the season. And the reason why is because when we use this ingredient in the season, this is the best, the best time of using this ingredient. Meaning, like in terms of uh, of, uh, of nutrition and, and 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 getting, I mean, bring it to you. That's the best thing. And I'm saying that's that's the reason why, in France, when we are doing those kind of things like menu playing, we have so much diversity and so much option. Then that the things we don't repeat. We try to not repeat because we can, because we really can. So that's that's very important. That's what I will say. That. And then that's that's why it's we are a little bit more healthy than maybe another country because we have diversity and because we have different kind of ingredients along the, the, the years. So the the produce they're definitely fresh. They're not processed. So you you don't um, use things in cans or you know maybe sometimes but. Mostly, the produce should be fresh and from um, local markets. Mostly, that's what that's what that's what we do when we have a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Now, in in the house, for each person, it depends of, of uh, depends of the of the people. But usually, normally, we all all the, all the time cook from scratch. So, mm -hmm. meaning that we we don't say about like what kind, what can or what uh, frozen item that we have or whatever. No. We go to the market because there is market every day of the years. Okay. In, uh, during the years, so even during. Mm -hmm. the year. Okay, so of course it's yes. less, it's less colorful. Uh, I mean, it's a little bit bigger. It's a little bit smaller because of, of the of the ingredient that's less during winter than compared mm -hmm. to or, or even or spring. Um, but it's it's like an open market, like uh, like the farmer to buy, you know, and, and then this is everywhere, not only in Paris but everywhere in France. So of course it gives more. Um, like more option and more uh, um, more um, invitation, I will say, of creating your, your own menu, which is somehow because you get in fresh. I would say it's more healthy. Definitely. Yes. So when you go shopping in the marché, is that what we call it? Well, when you go shopping, of course, mm -hmm. um, you don't go just like that. Mm -hmm. You have to be a little bit prepared. Let's say. Um, before you go to the market or before you go to uh, any place where you want to buy your ingredients, first of all, let's think about okay, what, what do I have guests? Uh, are we are we only the two of us, or are we eight? How many guests do I have? What do I have? What do I want to do? So let's be a little bit prepared when you go somewhere. Um, mm -hmm. right, so at least you don't you don't overbuy. You have already an idea of your menu, okay? Yes. Like if you want to do a menu three course. Uh, first course, second course, three course. Um, but then after that, it's, 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 it will help you. So you will not like uh, finish your uh, your grocery or finish your, your 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 buying and then say, oh why why did I buy that or I don't really need that or and then sometime when you see things, of course you get okay okay let's buy this big cake, chocolate cake or let's buy these things instead to think about it and then uh, and then and then. Having planned before, so at least you know, and then you stay on the seat. Yeah. Would you consider ingredients, um, some ingredients, uh, for maybe purchase something that's low fat? If you get like fresh vegetable or fresh uh, uh, fruits, and then and then lean meat like uh, like chicken or mm -hmm. even some part of the pork, it's some lean, so which is not too much uh, uh, fat. But even if this one is, it's like it's like. It's like good fat. I, I mean, I call yes. that good fat. If you cook mm -hmm. it early and everything, if you don't add it other fat on it, like if you don't keep fry it too long in oil or whatever, I think that's that's okay. It's you need to have option, okay? So if you have a little bit salt there, then you can have uh, a dessert which is like pure fruit. Uh, if you have like your mentos, it's like very lean, like very like like a chicken, like a turkey or something very with no fat. Then maybe you can. 
go a little bit more on the dessert with cream or with pastry cream or things like that. Mm -hmm. so oh, I would love to learn a lot from you. <laughs> you, Sorry. Have to, you really have to find the balance also as well because um, if you eat all what you want in the same uh, menu, which is fantastic, you will be very happy. Mm -hmm. But then you need to have the balance also as well because you know it's like if it's like just to eat something uh, heavy, the whole main course, appetizer, and dessert, and then after that you feel bad. No, it's not really. Uh, not really cool. So let's try to, to always think about the balance of, the, of, the, of your menu and especially when you do when you go outside and buy your things let's think about that. Have, have a, a menu almost ready in your head of what you want to prepare and then yeah I think that's that's those cool things. And then so the menu you, is yeah, preparation is key then. Yeah and then the menu is like a story meaning mm -hmm. that when you create a menu it's like a, a create um, a, a small book, I would say, with a story. So when you create the menu before that, you have your, your guests will come at night, for example. In the morning, you sit down, you have your coffee, you create your menu, lunch, you go and you buy your ingredients. So all of this one, you can already tell your, your guests or your friend or people who will come in during your dinner, all of that already. So it's starting the, a story of your menu that you prepare for them. So they will be very much uh, happy uh, first of all, your food will be excellent because you are a good cook. But then, so long things, people will be very, uh, very happy because they say, oh, there's a, there's a very nice uh, story about that. So to to uh, to get there and then the sale for to be the end. So that's all your story. And then on top of that, yeah, I think it's a very good um, a conversation starter as well, while enticing them as to what you're preparing that evening for your guests. That would be that would be very nice. Um, you know, Chef, I was wondering, um, because they say eat like the French and let your taste buds run wild. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> what is your personal secret to staying healthy while indulging in maybe chocolate, wine, cheese, bread? Um, of course, I like, I like to drink, I like wine, I like good things also as well. Um, but like I said, I'm trying to balance all of that um, and then make okay. sure that there's no excess all the time. Okay, and then those excess, you can really cut it by, because of diversity of, of your menu, or because of, of changing things or whatever. I'm telling you now that I'm going, going to stop to drink wine, I'm, sh I'm sure I'm going to, I can tell you, no, it's not going to happen. Okay, it's, it's going to be very difficult. I can cut down a little bit for sure, and then watch out of, of, of my intake like during weekday and things like that. Um, but no, I, I cannot stop. It is something fantastic. Not because I'm, I'm, I'm not alcoholic, okay? That's no, no, I'm, I'm far from that. Um, but I will say that a glass of wine, it's, it's good also as well for you. One or two glasses uh, with your friend, with your wife, with, the, with your mm -hmm. husband. I mean, you know, it's like, it's, it's, it's nice to work too. It's part of the whole thing, about the whole balance of things. You know, okay? um, That's what my grandmother says. Yeah, yeah, and then it's good, it's good, it's good for the health of the but that's the thing. What I mean, just think about like, um, um, like for example, some all, we all have the we all have envy of chocolate. Okay? Chocolate mm. is one of oh, yes. things. Everyone wants to eat chocolate one of these days during the weekday, uh, either at night, either for lunch, or you know they all. Want. So that's the thing. But then you want chocolate. Then you know that when you buy a big slice portion of chocolate of cake, um, that's going to be difficult after. <laughs> from, from your from your organic okay, you to to <laughs> or whatever or thing. Yes that happened. <laughs> yes you will you will enjoy it but uh, so well we are not we are talking about your body needs chocolate okay it doesn't need the whole things around the chocolate that we'll find on the chocolate cake. So why not you get uh, a one two square of chocolate tablet at at eighty percent for example you have the chocolate that your body is asking Okay, but on top of that, there's less sugar, and then you will have less problem to remove that from your body, and it's a little bit more healthy. So, mm -hmm. that's, so those kind of things, that's what I, I that's what I. Do. Okay, so because I'm like I'm a human, I'm not like coming from another planet. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm not different, and then my <laughs> own chocolate time to time so as well. But I have my tablet of chocolate in my fridge. And then when I really feel chocolate, then that's what I get. One what kind of chocolate is it, Chef? Different. I, I, I don't have one, but usually it's like 80% uh, uh, chocolate. Um, mm -hmm. for, for, for. So to yes. me, I listen to sugar there and things like that. 
and it's dark black chocolate, so which is good. And it's good also to prepare. I, I prepare food cooking, so my dessert mm -hmm. I do that also as well. So it's which is even benefits to, to the people who buy my dessert also. So which is mm. great. I've seen the uh, croissants in your website, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I do. I have seen it, and I'm craving for it, and I'd like to dip it in hot chocolate. Yeah, that's, that's my way. Yeah, people eat and chocolate. butter. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and even coffee, in the coffee. They, they, yeah. even eat, they put plenty of butter inside, they close and they dip it in the coffee. Oh, <laughs> c'est bon! <laughs> so, I'm going back to wine. Studies reveal that, you know, of course, like what you mentioned earlier, it's also good for our health. Um, drinking a glass or two of wine a day can benefit memory, lower the chances of dementia, and improve cholesterol levels, right? What are your favorite wines? Okay, so um, dementia, I will say that dementia, for dementia, I think champagne is better. Okay. okay, what's a good pairing with that for food? Uh, well, champagne, you don't, need, you don't need any food, you just open mm -hmm. it okay? and then Oh, you please food. educate me because I you don't, don't drink really, much. But... You don't need really food for the champagne. Mm -hmm. The champagne, you can drink it just like that. Um, of course, there's plenty of pairing. You can have like a small toast of, uh, of foie gras or mm -hmm. small, uh, smoked salmon or those kind of things, but champagne, you know, it's like, it's nice to drink champagne just like that. Mm -hmm. um, but of course, do not drink it alone. Always, mm -hmm. somebody that you like, or that you love, near you, because the champagne will taste 100 times much better than drinking it alone. So, so um... What, what I learned here, going back to the red wine, what I learned here in the Philippines, yes. um, with the weather that we have, and then the with the food that, that we can eat uh, in terms because of the weather, um, I will say uh, rosé is, is the wine where um, it's, it's really, um, it's really uh, open for a, a lot of options here in the mm -hmm. And then you can, you can have very cold rosé, you know, very nice, fresh, um, like an aperitif, and mm -hmm. then you can drink it just like that, with no, no need for pairing. You can have it like with a nice fresh salad. Um, you can pair that with, with fish. You can pair that with a uh, with a uh, meat grilled meat barbecue also as well. Um, you can pair it with dessert, you know. Then, so it's really a wine where I mean, for me, it's, it just happened now. Okay, it's not it's not really far away that we are drinking all rosé. Uh, I remember when I came here in 2022, no one was drinking rosé. It was really <laughs> You know, red wine or whiskey or rum or mm -hmm. not not really and the red wine was like quite heavy. Uh, mm -hmm. because they, because the market was not here yet to I mean those people who sell wine was here but they, they will not have so much uh, uh, a choice or maybe they don't mm -hmm. know what to do. But now we have so much people who know what they are doing and what they are selling. So we have so much option and that's why I'm gonna say that like for lunch, or between friends, if you do barbecue and things, the rosé will be perfect. And then it's less, uh, when you're doing a rosé, you have less calories than beer, or things like that, so which is very good. And then it's not too strong in terms wow. of, um, of, of degree of alcohol. I mean, especially mm -hmm. the rosé, there's rosé who are very strong, like the bandol or things like that. But this one, you don't get it for, for appetizer. But the nice, simple rosé, very fresh, it's fruity, it's nice, it's, it's, it's bring you to a, to a... And you can stay with the rosé the whole lunch, you know what I mean? So which is yes. From the beginning until the dessert, you can really have the rosé. Now, I, I'm not saying that I'm drinking rosé uh, and that's it. No, I like all the okay. wine, especially the wine from France. But mm -hmm. um, like lunch, what I, what, why I say lunch? Because normally it's quite hot outside and then you don't, you don't feel like drinking like a heavy red wine or something like that during lunch, and it's more easier to, to, to drink a, a, a rosé wine. Now, I love, I love, I love wine, I love Bordeaux, uh, but of course I keep that for my, uh, for my white dinner at night or things like that, definitely. Yeah. So I, I'm not just a rosé drinker, like I said, I drink quite uh, blanc and white wine and rosé and red wine, but what I will say for the Philippines, and then like an advice for everyone, mm -hmm. Um, I think it's lighter and it's more, it's, it's more for here, it's more for, for, for our country, the Philippines. Okay. Plus it's less calories than 
A little bit. A little bit. Ampa, do you say it? Ampa, ampa. I lived in Malaysia, and my friends there are French, and they are fit. And you know, I'm curious as to how they eat because whenever I we had a Christmas Eve dinner, and it was a French Christmas Eve dinner, and it lasted from six. It was from six p.m. to six a.m. Yeah. Is that normal? <laughs> Yep, yep. Is it normal? It's very normal in France, yeah. But that is eating all throughout, but with different courses. How how to stay fit? Well, it's okay. It's it's balance, okay. They will do that for this day particularly, mm -hmm. but maybe two or three days after, yeah, they will be they will be uh, relaxed on what they are eating, and they will be really uh, really uh, uh, cool. It, this is not every day. We don't we don't do that every day. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is special between Christmas and six like that. But yes, it's true, we do that because usually we start at six, okay? And then yeah, until the morning because because we eat like that, we eat, we drink and then we dance and then you know there's uh, the give six or whatever and then yeah and then when you look at the the watch, oh it's already six AM. And then usually when it's like five, oh so let's uh, let's do an onion soup and then we finish by the onion soup and then we go to bed, you know what I mean? And then and then that's it. But that's that's very common. Um, yeah. For Christmas, for wedding, you know, for wedding, it's like we are doing those kind of things as well. Mm -hmm. For big party, but it's not every day. Not, not every day. We can well, yes, yeah, not every day, but I do see them. Um, what I notice is the pleasure and the joy of eating. You know, <laughs> with good companions or even just alone, just um, sitting in a cafe. Um, I do, I do want to know what the secret is as to how you can just stay joyful and pleasure and enjoy the pleasure of eating well, well not <laughs> so getting so much food. okay it's, it's more on, on i think it's more on taking time taking time mm -hmm. is, so you saw them maybe during a, a meal which is very important for them like i mean we don't like to rush our meal uh, okay breakfast lunch and dinner it's 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 not we don't like that and then remember when we take our time for those meals, it means that we, we take pleasure, we have pleasure. And then having pleasure is very good for us. Do you know what I mean? So we don't stress ourselves during those times. So maybe you saw them during those times and then they were enjoying or whatever. But then after that, maybe they were back to work and then do the things and then maybe escape. Uh, escape the, the dinner or having just like a, one or two glass of wine after, uh, maybe they balance it. But it's not. We are not like. We are not like all the time eating like the same mm -hmm. five yeah. four hours in the same. Yeah. But when we do, we take our time, and it's very important. Yeah. Very yeah. Important. Is it um, important to also like um, chew very well? <laughs> but, of course, but I mean, it's like it's like taking time. I remember me when I was working in the hotel um, mm -hmm. in, in, in the city. And then uh, I was eating, and then some of the sales girl was coming, chef, uh, you know, we have, I said, uh, excuse me, can you see what I'm doing now? Uh, yeah, you are eating, so what? So I'm eating, so go away and come back to me after I'm eating, but don't disturb me about sales or whatever when I'm eating. When I'm eating, it's eating, the service is finished, I'm done with the service and what I'm eating, so I take my one hour and I'm done. So that's very important. It's so, good for mental health as well. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> and then when you are eating, you, you, okay, you was mentioned earlier, like we need to, uh, to eat well and then you take your time. You are, we always are taking our time. We like to do course by course. You know what I mean? So we, love, we, we like to have appetizer and then finish our appetizer, maybe have a glass of wine with that. Then our main course is coming. Then we eat our main course, and then you know we don't want everything together. And then you start with the appetizer. Your main course is cold, and then you don't even finish your main course. Then your dessert arrives. We don't like that. We like to have you know like a sequence. Very important to take. We, we take our time. So that's yeah. I would say that is very important. Yeah, yeah. So the sequence of things, um, compartmentalizing it for um, with an appetizer and the main meal. And then the dessert, maybe, and then of course in between would be wines. But um, so you have the most important are three main meals. Do you have snacks in between? Okay, I, I for me, I no, I don't have snacks. 
um, because because I like to spend time for my three meal, like uh, mm -hmm. breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, I don't have snack. I, I don't. I don't believe on that. Um, yeah, so that's why. Um, some people will tell you that it's better to eat plenty of time. Um, but even in, in, like in France, even even kids they don't have snack. You know what I mean? mm -hmm. They are not taught up of snack. You know what I mean? So they have breakfast, oh. lunch, and dinner. When they are really really small, yes, they have like the cat food, cat food that we call, and then when they are small. But after that, um, it's it's really yeah, it's we don't have that. So, so when do you take Nutella? <laughs> <laughs> No, they do Nutella when they are kids, but after that we stop. We don't have Nutella anymore. So, uh, for me, the, the most important one I would say is um, it's a good healthy breakfast. Okay, mm -hmm. it's very nice breakfast. Um, why? Because first of all, it gives you uh, a lot of uh, energy for your for your, all your morning when you are working until the, the lunch. And like for me, chef, we are eating. We are not eating at 12 o'clock. We eat like normally after the service. Which is like two o'clock in the afternoon, so it's quite long. So maybe maybe a healthy breakfast, a very nice lunch, okay, um, like three course lunch, nice one, and then normally dinner it's like quite light, okay. That's a routine. That's a routine. Mm -hmm. How does one become a master chef? Um, <laughs> so, um, well, it's, it's, it's okay. Um, well, I just mentioned to you, I'm I'm fifty, uh, I'm fifty uh, three, fifty mm -hmm. three. Now. And then the Master Chef, it's an association, okay? Uh, one of the oldest association of chefs in France. Um, and then you, you, you don't, you cannot just go there and pay your your fee monthly or whatever. No. Um, to, to 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 be there, you have to be um, uh, you have to be a member. Uh, the, I mean, the member will have to recommend you. So meaning, so they, they and then they don't recommend you because they are your friend or things like that. Uh, they have a, a long criteria, a question um, that they look um, if you are be able to, uh, to get uh, uh, to enter. Then after that, you need to have two sponsors. Those two sponsors has to be member as well from the association. Those two those two member. They need to write a letters knowing you. So normally those sponsors they should know you. So either because they work with you, um, yeah, because they work with you somewhere, mm -hmm. okay, either yes, in or somewhere. Mm -hmm. But they need to know you because the letter is not like a letter like, oh, this guy is fantastic, thank you, take him. No, it's not like that. It's a For big recommendation. Letter. Yeah, it's a big letter based on all the criteria that it's it's uh, it's mentioned in the things. But also as well, they are looking at your old career. They are not looking at what you are now. They are looking at the old career. So when you start, when you are apprentice, or if you are from the school, until where you arrive. And then there is a lot of criteria. Like for example, there is one, there is ten, ten commandments. Okay, that you have, mm -hmm. that we have to follow. And then one of those, it's like um, you have to represent um, the French uh, cuisine anywhere that you are. And then you have to represent it well, not by doing French cooking, but also as well by sharing and teaching some of your people that you are with you. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, you have, to, uh, you have to be an advocate for education. That's that's one very important. Uh, media, one thing also as well that's very important that you have to show the message in France properly in front of the media. So it means that you don't invite any media whatsoever and say, oh, I'm then. I'm Maitre de France, and that's it. Everything has to be for a purpose. Who will mm -hmm. continue on what you believe and what you are doing on the on your restaurant or what you did during all your career? And then always high quality, always high quality. I mean, um, you so you, you've been chosen like that. When you have these two sponsors, they write a letter from you. They send that to a special group in Paris. There are seven only. And then you pass between these seven people. So even if you have a sponsor, even if you have a letters, you are not even sure if you can pass. So really, um, me, I, I didn't, I didn't ask to be M Metro Field France. It's some of my sponsors say, hey, you should be Metro Field France because you deserve it. You did something. You do something, and that's how it is. Yeah, yeah. So it's quite difficult. 
Um, it's only for French people. We are only yes. uh, we are only 700, I think, worldwide. So, which is very uh, few when you look at the number of French people. So it's not so much. Um, and then most of the chefs there, they are um, they are meilleur ouvrier France, which is another um, a distinction for France. Um, mm -hmm. Where they have the the color of the of the flag of France in their. I've seen, yeah. Flag. Um, there are some people who have restaurants who are one, two, three star Michelin. So yeah, these these people are very uh, yeah. It's not really a um, you know a, a association just to make the music and, and noise. It's a real no. <laughs> serious one. Serious one. Yeah. <laughs> I've learned so much from you, chef, and I would love to learn more. You know, um, you did mention that you offer online classes. Would you like to share with everyone um, okay, so, some information about it? Yeah, so with, with the pandemic, of course, um, uh, what happened is like we, uh, we've been uh, locked in, in our house. Um, like, like I show you, my house is, is, is ready for that. I mean, I'm, I'm doing quite a few things. Uh, we are doing like uh, uh, food to, um, um, to, to order and then uh, uh, for picker. We are doing some Viennoise tea, you was mentioned earlier. That we quite long. I do also as well the famous Queen Amman. Okay, those kind of mm. things. You cannot eat one every day because we are talking about healthy, but once or two a week, so it's okay, okay, it's okay. We need a little bit of sugar, not too much, but a little bit. Um, then, um, and then I do some set menus as well. So, for example, I cook everything, I, I, I put vacuum, I put sous vide, and then uh, so when people receive it, they just have to put it in the hot water, boiling. And then they just cut it, and then the food is served, is hot. And then when I do that, I do uh, Zoom classes, um, how to show them how to do the plating, um, how uh, beautiful it can be, and then what different uh, really can do. So we, yeah, we do this kind of things. Um, um, I did with a couple of group. Um, of course, I cannot do one on one; it's a little bit difficult. We are mm -hmm. with a certain number of people, like. 10 to 12 people and then I work with other um, uh, um, friends uh, for um, testing uh, uh, food between wine and, and food or things like that. Yeah. So where can they find it? Um, do you have a website for it? Uh, we don't have website but I have one number that I can uh, tell you now. Okay, so it's we'll a, share it um, in a bit. Yeah. We'll also share it. Yeah, we'll also write it down here. So it's a, <laughs> Like seven, zero nine one seven, zero nine one seven, five four zero one eight one one. Okay. Address your text to Anna. Anna is uh, my uh, beautiful wife who do everything else that I don't want to do, and I'm telling you a lot. So. <laughs> Hello, Anna. <laughs> so she will receive your call, and then yeah, she will answer you. She will. Uh, Share with you what we do, and then, uh, and then, the, and then we are not close of what we are doing only. We are open of mm -hmm. anything. I get a lot of uh, people who say, hey, "Chef, you know, I want that. I crave for this dish, which is not on my list, but I still do." And then, if I can do, I do. And then, uh, yeah, and then that's how we did. So, yeah. And then, um, and then I'm preparing also as well for. Uh, I mean, I did few items um, this past month. Mm -hmm. But now the season, uh, the reading season is coming in, in the Philippines, so we will stop for a while. But in September, we have um, a, a place in uh, Silong. It's a little bit, uh, something like 30 to 40 kilometers from Manila. It's mm -hmm. in the middle of the forest, in the, in the farm. And then we have this beautiful um, um, kind of grill. Uh, it's it's with uh, Ophir. It's a plancha grill, all cooked with uh, wood. And then uh, we organize uh, a set menu there. Um, wow. It's for, by reservation, so it's like only for eight to ten people. It's like no nobody else, so it's perfect for the pandemic because you are not in the in a big uh, restaurant where there are so many people that you don't know whatever. And it's outdoor and it's in the forest. Um, so it's like really uh, fantastic. So it's it's beautiful. So we did a couple of of, uh, of it um, um, this last month, this month and last month. Um, and it was fantastic, very nice. So good food, and then you know, outdoor, nice. You can you can breathe properly. You are in the middle of the tree. It's a big tree. It's a whole farm, so it's like you can you can jog around if you want. It's like we did already the things. It's like three kilometers, 
3.5 kilometers, so it's quite interesting for the people who want to jog or whatever, or even walk. So you, you, are, you do one turn, I mean, one round, you are doing three kilometers already, not bad, you know, you, you have like nice lunch and you just go around. And it's not really just like, you know, you, you can, you, you understand more the farm where, where, I mean, we have coffee, a tree, we have pomelo, we have a lot of things. So when it's on season, those, those things will be on, will be uh, cooked on the, on the special barbecue that we have. Uh, so soon that the avocado season will arrive in September, I think. And then those avocado will be, uh, that will be one of the things that will be a uh, big show for the... Another superfood. <laughs> Yum. Yeah, avocado Yum. Yeah. I'm definitely going to contact you and Anna. And um, hopefully we can uh, do a fitness boot camp with delicious fresh food. Of course. At of course. your place. No oh, I'm looking forward to so many things that you have coming up in uh, 2021 and 20 and the rest of 2021 and 2022 well thank you so, so much chef Cyril for sharing with us the French joyful way of conscious cooking and eating it's been such an honor to have you thank you it's an honor to, to be with you I'm I'm so happy that uh, and then uh, like I like what I said you know thanks for we need to uh, to stay fit okay it's very important um at your condition okay it's not like uh, you don't have to look like uh, like an uh, actor or like an actress all the time, but you you have to have a good look that you like, and then that's very important. And especially here, it's very important. And then that's it. Have a variety of your food. Um, there's so much option in the market, so it's just about like having like some, uh, uh, you know, like uh, dream or uh, or think how you wanted to do on the on the on the kitchen, and mm -hmm. on the and, and then that's what I see. So there are so many things. So preparation is key, moderation is key, and pleasure, taking pleasure, taking yeah. your time. Yeah, make sure you eat with people that you like. That's very important. Never mm. go having a lunch with uh, people that you hate. Your food will be out. <laughs> Even <laughs> in a three-star Michelin restaurant. And no matter no sip and sip. You know, do, not, do, not have a, do not have a glass of wine with the people that you hate at work. No way. You know, <laughs> I remember that. The wine tastes vinegar, you know what I mean? So don't, don't do that. No, I mean, I mean, you know, this, we have friends and then, the, yeah, let's enjoy the things. Mm -hmm. It tastes much, much better all the time, yeah, always. That's why they say, just uh, eat like the French and the taste buds run wild. Thank you so much, Chef. And this is Carla from Eat, Play, Heal. Thank you, I hope you had you. a nice time listening to us and have a great day. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Hi everyone!